In this modern world, we give away far too much data, and much of the data that is passed is untrusted, and lacks verification. So how do we prove something, without giving away our data? A typical problem is that Alice has to prove that she is over 18, so that she can be served in a bar. Bob, the bouncer or the bartender, needs to make sure that everyone is over 18. So, Alice says that she is over 18, and Bob then asks for her ID, but Alice does not want to show Bob her ID for privacy reasons. How can Alice prove that her age is over 18 years? Without giving away her actual age and other data shown on her ID? Hi. This is Actuarial Snail. Today let's talk about zero-knowledge proof of using hash chains, and focus how the protocol can be used in real-life applications like age verification, and a potential exploit worth noting. There are many other zero-knowledge proof types and applications, and the details are way beyond the scope of this video. I find the Wikipedia page to be a good starting point for those interested in the rabbit hole. Right. So, some quick basics first before we get into our demo. In a zero-knowledge proof, one party can prove to another party that a given statement is true while the prover avoids conveying any additional information, apart from the fact that the statement is indeed true. For example, Alice wants to prove to Bob that she is over 18 years old, without revealing to Bob her actual age. All zero-knowledge proofs include three essential prerequisites. 1. Completeness 2. Soundness, and 3. Zero knowledge. A hash function is any function that can be used to map data of arbitrary size to fixed size values. Any modification in the input, the text, the length or the order of the characters, will produce a totally different output from what was expected. A good hash function satisfies two basic properties. 1. It should be very fast to compute. 2. It should minimize or avoid duplication of output values, collisions. A hash chain is the successive application of hash functions recursively. This is a very important property which we will use in our zero-knowledge proof demo. So in this zero-knowledge protocol demo, a trusted entity or person generates 1, a random secret that only Alice will know, and 2, her encrypted age. Alice takes the secret and applies the hash function recursively, 1 plus actual age less age to prove number of times, and pass the proof to Bob to verify. Bob receives the proof as well as the encrypted age of Alice, and starts the verification by hashing the proof recursively, age to prove number of times. For example, if Alice is 20 years old and the age to prove is 18 then Alice would apply the hashing function to the secret 3 times. The trusted entity or person would apply the hash 21 times to the secret, and Bob would be able to hash the proof 18 times, and compare against the encrypted age in order to verify Alice's age. So Bob knows that Alice is at least 18 years old but does not know her actual age. And we can show. 1. Completeness. Alice will always be able to prove to Bob that she is old enough. 2. Soundness. Alice cannot trick Bob into thinking she is old enough. 3. Zero knowledge. Bob has no idea about how old Alice is. Here is a Python example to illustrate the whole process. I also have the code shared on GitHub. Check out the link in the descriptions below. A potential exploit is that, if Alice is tricked to go through the verification process when her actual age is lower than the verification age, then her age can actually be revealed. In real-world applications, it may not always be possible to know what the threshold is, the prover can make a mistake or be tricked, and so the potential for exploitation renders the hash chain potentially dangerous. So more checks and controls would need to be put in place on these boundary conditions. Do you think there are other design solutions to the potential exploitation? Do you think zero-knowledge proofs are the future? Let me know down in the comments below.